Well, Stephen, we found out that the local bishops and pastors who plan on attending this huge prayer event believe it is about uplifting Detroit and not tearing down Islam or Muslims. But if you listen to the words of the promoters, it appears they do have some strong feelings about the Muslim community. 11 11 is the day thousands of people are expected to pack field for a 24 hour prayer summit. And that is of great concern tonight for one local Islamic leader who says he believes the organizers of what's being called the call will be preaching anti Islamic rhetoric. He's watched some of the promoters on the internet. Many have said there, there's actually an attempt to make Michigan our first Muslim state. And Islam is in our face everywhere we turn. There's actually advocating for uh, potentially for stakes to be driven in, in the ground to bring out the demons uh, from the Muslims. That is uh, really ridiculous. Dawood Walid says because of this, he's sending out an alert to local mosques. Telling them that on November the 11th especially, and it's our holy day of Friday prayers, that security uh, should be stepped up in the area. He's also concerned tonight because some local pastors and bishops are planning to participate in this event. Wow. And he wonders out loud if they know what's behind the call. Perhaps they don't know uh, the background of these people. The only thing that I would ever want anyone to do here in the city of Detroit is pray for this city, pray for its future. And um, I'm not going to be a part of anything that is uh, divisive. Bishop Edgar Van from the Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit says this huge prayer vigil should be about uplifting Detroit. But if it turns out to be anything but that, he cannot be part of it. We need uh, bridges that unite us instead of walls that divide us. Now, while it says he's not proposing that they cancel the event, he says he just hopes it is filled with the right kind of prayer. Also, Lou Engel is one of the co-founders of The Call. We reached out to him tonight. We'd like to talk to him about their beliefs. In Detroit, I'm Cheryl Choden, 7 Action News.